next to my left is Rafael Asensio. Rafael, uh, his last fight with Yves Jabin was uh, we were super super impressed, especially with his chin. He uh, he took some huge shots, some really really tough kicks from Eves and and prevailed and won that fight. Uh, so Rafael is in probably the biggest fight of his life on Sunday. Uh, Uriah Faber is a formidable opponent. Rafael knows that. Rafael has been training for it. He's from a famous fight family. His brother Junior Asensio is here. So without further comment, Rafael Asensio. How you doing, guys? Uh, really excited to be here uh, in Sacramento. Uh, really excited for this fight. 100% uh, ready. And it uh, should be a, a pretty uh, fast-paced fight. Uh, comes uh, Sunday night. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rafael. Next, the next fighter that we have to my right really needs no introduction, especially here in Sacramento. Uriah Faber has been with WC for a long time. He fought for us even prior to uh, the Zufa uh, acquisition of the company. I remember, I think, your, Uriah, your first fight was Cole Escovito, wasn't it? And, and Cole Escovito's a tough dude, and Uriah put the beat down on that kid. And I remember looking at my partner and going, wow, this kid's special. Uh, Uriah Faber obviously had you know, a complete battle with Mike Brown, broke both his hands. I told Uriah after the fight, I had more respect for him after that fight than, I, than any other fighter I've ever dealt with. To go through a battle like that with broken hands, I mean, I didn't even know his hands were broken until the third round because, you know, I just thought he was utilizing his elbows. <laughs> so uh, he is really, uh, in my mind, one of the finest fighters in the entire planet. So uh, Mr. Uriah Faber. What's up, guys? Thanks for the intro read. And uh, glad to be back here in Sacramento. I'm stoked to be fighting a guy like Rafael. Uh, I think, you know, we have uh, you know, a lot of things in common, in fight style and mentality, and, and I look forward to a, a, an amazing fight. He's a guy that is ranked, you know, fifth in the world, but not too many people know who he is. So, you know, for a guy like me, that's a dangerous fight, <clears throat> and it's a, it's a great fight for both of us to put on the show. I'm expecting the fans are going to win, and uh, uh, I'm excited also to be sharing the stage with uh, Jamie Varner and Ben Henderson, who are two of the top fighters and, and also really exciting uh, guys that like to throw down. So uh, it's going to be a, a war for Hoffel and myself, and I know these guys are going to go at it, and there's a ton of great fights on the card. So all around, this is going to be a great event, and uh, you know, put it down for Sacktown in California and the, and the rest of the MMA world. So. Keep your eyes open. You're right. Talk about uh, the Sacramento fans in general, just how, how big of fight fans they are and, and, and cage fighting fans and, and what that means to you. Um, you know, being here in Sacramento is awesome for me. I, not only, you know, do I like performing in front of the, the crowd, but this is my, you know, this is where I grew up. I, I went to school in Carmichael for elementary school. I went to high school in Lincoln, junior high and high school in Lincoln. I went to college at UC Davis, so... Uh, I've got a, a long history here, and, and the fans uh, in Sacramento have a long history of being some of the best fans in the world, you know, not only for the fight game, but in basketball, and uh, they, they, you know, it's a bigger town, but it's a, it's a small town feeling, and, and it's just, I'm honored to represent, and, and uh, you know, the energy in there when I walk out to that crowd is just, you know, I can't really describe it, and you only get to experience a couple times, you know, especially when it's geared you know, funneling straight to, to you. So, um, you know, I always fight hard. I would fight, you know, to the end if it was, you know, just me and a kid at a park. But, uh, you know, having all these eyes on me and, and, and the, the support and energy is, is awesome. I'm going to try to keep it pretty normal uh, as far as, uh, you know, having uh, the whole crowd, you know, cheering for him. Uh, like you said, I've been in hostile territory before. And, uh, you know, I'm... It's it's not the best feeling in the world, but I'll probably try to use that as uh, as you know a little extra motivation. You know, nothing nothing too too bad, I don't think. But uh, and, and hopefully they're not too brutal when we when we walk in there. And uh, but you know I think it's going to be just 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 another uh, you know it's another event. You know I'm glad to be here in Sacramento. 
you know uh, you know it's a uh, I've I've been here before uh, watching the UFC. It's a great city. Uh, it's a nice arena, and I'm excited to uh, just just to walk in there when it's time to, to to fight. That being said, also you know you look at the battle with Jens and I, and Jens came out with a ton of great fans, you know, uh, in in that fight. So next time he was here in Sacramento, he put his heart out on the line, had a great fight, and he gained a lot of fans. So it's an opportunity, also. So I think. You know, having the eyes out here is, is good for everyone, and um, I just happen to be the luckiest guy with, with the most fans in my corner. So thanks, guys. Can you talk a little bit about your mental preparation for this? I mean, this is, this is a huge opportunity for you. You've earned it, but I know your, your physical and your, your, your fight training is always on par, but what have you done differently mentally to train yourself to get ready for this fight? Mentally, I think the, for the for the most part, uh, I changed my uh, training camp just just for the matter. Sometimes you're at home and and, and all the uh, you know all the mental stress. You know, I, you know, I have a family, and not not the family is, is a stress, but uh, just just you know the everyday living. Uh, and and I changed my 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 whole camp. You know, I, my my coach. I've got a great coach. He's a hundred percent positive guy every day. We you know, we're, uh, like you know you you see the same person. You know. The, Six hours a day, every day for uh, five, six weeks. You're like, oh, you're tired of seeing that same person. But he was always positive. I'll, I'll, I'll call him. You know, it was it was a hard season because it was a Christmas and a New Year's, all, all the holiday season. We were training pretty hard, and uh, so I had a great, uh, I had a great, uh, you know, everybody surrounded me with 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 good positive energy, and, uh, and it's going to be a, a good factor in my mental for this particular fight. You've always been, especially here in Sacramento, you're the hometown favorite. Has it affected your mental training that you're not the headliner? You're not. The, you've always been the, the title fights. You know, you've always been the top, the last fight of the night. It, does it, has it changed all your aspect? Does it bothers you a little bit that going in this, you know, you're not fighting for the title? Uh, no. You know, I'm not bothered by much. I'm a pretty happy dude, and uh, I'm not defined by. Anything other than the fact that, you know, I, I represent what I put out there and, and I put out that, you know, I love what I'm doing. Um, I haven't thought about that at all, although Jamie has. <laughs> I've heard him. I, I keep getting asked about that. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I think, uh, you know, for me, the biggest thing is just going out there and performing and, and I'll let my action speak and and be out there on top. And I've gotten a lot of attention from this, you know. They, uh, you know, mentioned me on the commercial, and, and uh, you know, people are excited about it. You know, I'm the, the number three ranked guy in the world, and I think people take notice of that. So uh, this is a big fight. But, uh, you know, I've fought, you know, I was hungry before. I've fought 20-some-odd times and in different circumstances. I've fought in, in front of a couple hundred people in Indian casinos, and I fought out in the pavement in the sun and, and you know, before MMA was legal. and. Uh, I'm a fighter, that's what I do, and uh, you know, I just happen to be blessed with a great environment right now.